it's literally been an incredible week. And j- just for a little bit of backdrop here, uh, if it's not evident, right, the frothy generative AI discussions, uh, tech enablement, and end user uh, benefits are just alive and well, and everybody's doing this amazing judo move. You know, you have upstarts like uh, OpenAI who are backed uh, by Microsoft. Uh, you have the uh, stalwarts uh, of AI like Google, right, and and Microsoft. Um, and you know, on the consumer side, it's it's super frothy. We're going into into build next week from Microsoft, where I'm sure we're going to hear their next play. And then we hit WWDC in June, which shows Apple's play. So, OpenAI uh, made a major some major announcements the day before Google I/O, which we're going to talk about. And uh, first of all. It was just an amazing array, uh, live demos. Uh, sure, there were some recorded ones, but it was literally the demos that were during the event uh, were live, which which I super appreciate. And they they came in multiple buckets. You know, people were speculating, hey, would it be a Google search competitor? Would it be GPT-5? Uh, it was none of those. Uh, what it was is GTP-4 uh, making... Oh, uh, uh, oh. Well, I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, GTP4, I'll, I'll, we can start with 4.0 uh, if you'd like. No, I just wanted uh, to do the O. It made me think of the movie Office Space. Anyway, never mind. I we'll get back to it. that. So, yeah, the biggest news was GTP, GPT, uh, G, yeah, 4.0 for Omni Model, which I like to call multimodal. And that's the combination of text, voice, image, and video uh, all combined. And there was this incredible voice overlay uh, on top of that, which uh, is, from the demos, is absolutely remarkable. Now, I thought I was using the enhanced voice mode when I chose Jeep uh, 4.0, but in fact, uh, I wasn't. Uh, I was using the logic part of that, but not what some people are considering this flirty and funnier uh, version. Some of the notables here, right? A Mac OS desktop app uh, came out, which, by the way, uh, is a lot harder to shut down than a um, actually almost impossible to shut down versus, let's say, an iOS or Mac uh, or iPad OS uh, application. Does not currently touch the neural processor uh, on Apple, but maybe we'll see that at WWDC. Um, other things came out. They talked about having a hundred million uh, paid users, which is, is pretty awesome. So, from a monetization point, GPT 4.0 is free, and so is GTP 4, uh, which is a is a huge uh, delta. What you do get is you get a bigger context window uh, if it's if it's paid. They also made major enhancements to the API. It's 50% cheaper and 5x the rate limit. So uh, net net, this company is going for it. It recognizes the large company threat, and they're trying to build as many users as they possibly can. And like I said on Yahoo Finance, if you can tap into that monetization stream, I think I said this on CNBC too, once you can get enough eyeballs on it and people using your product, you can then go and monetize it. And, and as we'll discuss, uh, Google might be behind, but it's not kind of a, a, a night and day difference. Yeah, you, you hit a lot of good points there, Pat. I mean, I can't help but think one is like, you know, Satya wrote that thing. We've got it up. We've got it down. We've got it right. We've got it left. We've got it surrounded. Yeah, Satya is a badass, by the way. Don't mistake anyway. He seems really nice, but he's a badass. He does, he's built an amazing company. Uh, and of course, Microsoft's going for it too because they're going to build their own. They're going to have open. They're going to let everything else in. That's why they're getting market share. Um, the the interesting thing, though, is is with this stuff on Apple, um that we're hearing right about them getting apple natively on the device like think about like how open ai has made itself a complete moat in between the two biggest companies in the world and they're creating yeah. this codependency it's wild how this thing is kind of evolving um 
And man, Sam is boring. He is so boring. I listened to him on the on the all in. I mean, that was the worst guest visit ever. I was listening to it like two in the morning, driving between San Antonio and Houston last week, excited because it's like, oh my gosh, Sam Altman's on the on the pod. And this is the pod, the all in, the one I listen to pretty frequently. And um, it was terrible. But the 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 setup for the surprise was really, really good. I mean, the 4.0 demos are mind blowing. They're very interesting. It's the the rapid innovation is is hard to digest how quickly we are evolving. You know, if you look back at the original GPT, it was actually really terrible. It was it the answers were bad, the data was old, but the the concept was good, meaning like summary, abstract, you know. I tell everybody image cre image creation through Dolly three was good. Yeah, it's. It, I mean, they're doing awesome stuff. Sora was trained on U YouTube or whatever it was, but uh, New York Times. There's all these interesting sort of nuances there. But I mean, where we're going is really interesting. It's it's pretty fun and exciting. But like, listen, I mean, they are disrupting. They are bringing um, contrived empathy to the platform, and I call it that because it's not real. Everyone just understand that she might be flirting with you, but she doesn't love you. The movie Her is a great movie to go back and watch because it's going on. But it is wild how quickly this has proliferated from kind of like a new way to organize searches into a single to now, you know, basically doing your kids homework. And so, you know, congratulations to OpenAI. I mean, look, the building and, and what I expect the innovators to do around this will be really interesting. Of course, it's a lot of closed architecture, so there's not a lot that others will be able to build and access. But it does also start to show the possibility, which will create all kinds of energy in the open source communities to figure out how to build some of these capabilities on top of Llama and other open source models, which I expect to grow as well. Now, nobody's commenting on the amount of power this thing's going to use. And so I'm going to keep going back to that. Pat, I have no idea how we are going to power the proliferation of these open, uh, these, these large language models. I, I can't quite figure it out. And, um, you know, it's like 100 times more energy when you're doing a search on these things than when you're doing a Google search. So how do we have the entanglement of these two things to not use generative for everything until we have some way to deal with that situation? Can we talk about nuclear fission? No, we're not gonna talk about it here, but we're probably gonna need to pursue that at some point because I don't see how else we're gonna get the grid to, to support all this. 